everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Nerd Chuck, and this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, aka the Internet's most passionate wine program, and we continue with double blind, throwdown, hoedown, showdown, and we go to 05 Bordeaux, one of the great years in Bordeaux history. Many people jumped on board, big bandwagon people early on, maniacs jumped on hard and did all right. And so I'm very excited about doing an 05 Bordeaux tasting. I don't even know if these are right bank, left bank. You know, I really don't know. That's what's kind of making these fun. And uh, hopefully these guys can piggyback off of the uh, enormous uh, success of Barolo. They seem to have done extremely well. I was really happy with those wines, Ma. These wines are showing great, great color. Um, and let's see what's going on with these two wines. Let's go snippy sniff over here. Let's go snippy sniff over there. Back to here. Hmm. All right, let's start over here. Let's give this a good old fashioned snippy sniff. I get some black current coming across here, a little cassis action as well, which is nice. Let's go over here. It's a little bit tighter. Let's go over here. Yeah, this is a little bit more exciting. Let's go back over here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, t I'm like, <laughs> I apologize. That's what happens when you drink a good amount of wine. Um, it's pretty tight over here, a little, a little bit of like more of a red fruit, where this was a dark fruit kind of thing going on. Cassis, blackberries, even like some blueberries. This has a little bit of a cherry, a little bit of um, of a red currant kind of thing going on. Let's give this a whirl. Wow, starts off light and kind of easy and then finishes dry and kind of hard. Um, that's happened before. So, you know, it's kind of a, a wow, it's a tale of two cities, um, two parts of the city. It's kind of like the right side of the tracks and the wrong side of the tracks. My, you know what I'm talking like, you know, there's parts, you know, just the wrong side of the tracks. This finish is on the wrong side of the tracks, very bitter, austere, awkward. There's some angst to it. It's a very tough kind of wine uh, on the back end. Kind of disjointed, awkward. I do not like this wine. Uh, it finishes so difficult that it's tough to like the initial part. The initial part's not even that exciting. It's just kind of easy, but maybe boring. So it goes from like boring to it murdered you. Not fun. Let's go over here. Much more lush, much easier silky finish. You know, if I had one hope, all the people are confused about a smooth finish, I wish they had the opportunity to taste these side by side. You taste this, and then you taste this, you'll understand a smooth finish quickly. Neither of these wines brings it. Uh, this is a really out and out disaster. This one's a little bit boring and a little hollow. Not bad though. Actually, I'm being a little bit difficult on this wine. I think I'm still pissed over here. Um, and it's not so bad either, just a, a tight finish. It has some nice elegance to it, some good fruit. But no, no, I think I'm, I think I'm feeling pretty comfortable to, to say that neither really brings enormous thunder to my life. Um, it's got some good dark fruit, like I said earlier, and it, it continues. There's some dark chocolate shavings on top. Just kind of, uh, just I don't know. Not really, huh, I don't know, just kind of boring wines at some level. Just, I don't know, I'm just Cabernet Merlot out a little bit in general on my palate. I'm just looking for other flavors right now. Your palate just moves around. And right now, I'm just not interested in hearing your story, Cabernet or Merlot. Just not. Not at all. At all. All right, so I'm going to score this wine over here in, in 82. I'm going to score this wine over here in 88 plus. And so we should unveil the loser, Mott. These are tight and to the point when they're not that fun. Uh, Chateau Lathiel, uh 
Declassified Pesach, this is 30, this one's $33. 70 Merlot, 30 Cab um, from the Pesach. Um, I, I guess this is maybe a Chateau, Le, uh, Chateau Clenet declassified wine, or third wine, excuse me. I'm really not impressed with that wine. 33 bucks, wow. Okay. And uh, the 88 plus winner is uh, Chateau Jean Faux, 05 Bordeaux, 30 bucks, 80% Merlot, 20 Cab Franc. Um, a little bit more interesting. Um, not, you know, yeah, more interesting for sure. A uh, little meatier. Uh, th this was 70 Merlot, 30 Cab. This is 80 Merlot, 20 Cab Franc, Cab Sauve over here. Um, and then and there you really have it. Um, both wines in the same price range. Thought they showed significantly differently. Neither really ripped it. This is definitely serviceable. Still think there's other things out there. Um, and that's how it kind of goes. Question of the day, what is the most disappointing Bordeaux you've ever had? You, with a little bit of me, we are changing the wine world.